Hi everyone, this is going to be a really um, quick update. I am not feeling good, once again. Um, different set of issues. I'm very puffy in my hands and in my feet and in my face today. And now instead of being backed up, everything's coming out finally. So I'd rather have that than the pain I had the other night. But anyways, I want to do a really quick update. I got a message from Alana, um, Halloween Girl 888. She was due six days before me. She writes on my Facebook, Hi honey, I was wondering if you could do a quick video update on my behalf for YouTubers. I can't upload anything as I only have the internet through my mobile and it doesn't let me upload or chat on MSN. It all started yesterday at 4 p.m. when I lost a big glob of clear mucus, then followed by that, I've been leaking clear watery fluid. So I called my midwife and she told me to go into the ward today, which we did, and she said my waters have gone but slowly trickling out. So because I'm not having contractions or established labor, I have to go into the hospital to be induced and they want to keep a close eye on me and the baby. So wish me luck, girl. It looks like the baby will be here soon. That was yesterday and then um, today I looked on her Facebook and she wrote on her Facebook that let me just go in there real quick um, pretty much her water completely broke last night is pretty much what it says it says waters have broke last night but it's not established labor so going in to be a deuce first thing in the morning or this is it everyone wish me luck so then I'm starting to read the comments and she had her baby boy and it looks like she had him at 1226 and he is weighing seven and a half pounds and no name yet. I will tell you that I know the baby's name just because she told me a while back. Um, she wasn't like dead on for sure if, you know, they were going to stick with that name, but she was pretty sure. But um, I, I love that name, and there's a reason why, but I won't say. Anyways, I just want to tell Alana and Justin congratulations with all of Alan in my heart. We're so excited for you, and um, it looks like um, you have some very close friends there in the UK that are keeping good tabs on you. And that it looks like you and the baby are doing great. And I hope Justin is waiting on you hand and foot in the hospital. And I cannot wait to see you and your um, baby boy. Uh, Calista brought her baby home today. And you'll be soon home with your baby boy. And next up should be Renee. And then me. And I'll tell you, Alan and I are laying here. And we're getting a little nervous, aren't we? <laughs> we keep saying, okay, we got to get this done. We got to get this done. We got to get this done. Oh, my hands hurt so bad. This done, this done, this done, this done. Are we going to have all this done before she comes? But it will be fine. And um, I'm hoping to have the nursery completely done within the next day or two so I can show you guys everything. Um, we are moving her swing out of her room and putting that in the living room and her stroller and her car seat out into the living room to give her nursery a little bit more room. And Alan got her rocking, my rocking chair done, and he's going to get the footstool done tomorrow or the next day before he goes back to work. Um, I have my OB appointment tomorrow, and Alan has his surgical follow-up appointment tomorrow. So wish us both well. And um, again, Alana and Justin, I'm just ecstatic for both of you. Um, we're thinking of you, and we're praying for you. And everyone else, please go to her site and wish her congratulations and um, everyone else take care.